Hello, and welcome to the screencast uh, to look at using probability distributions and using some tools in R just to help people make sense of where the chi-square distribution and the F distribution come from, because there's often some confusion about what these things really mean. And so we'll be using the chi-squared and F distribution, the basics.r script, um, which I wrote a few years ago. So one way of thinking about it, of what the chi-square distribution is, it's really just about uh, sampling from a distribution of sum of squares. That's really all of it. So you can really think about it as it's a distribution that tells you something about variances. And so let's do that. Let's actually generate some sum of squares. So I've written this function, disti gaussian dot fun, and what this function does is it generates random numbers. In this case, it's generating 100, uh, 100 random deviates from a normal distribution of mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. For each of those, we're going to compute, compute the sum of squares for those 100 random numbers uh, based on the mean of, of x. So you basically can go for each individual value of x, x minus uh, mean of x, uh, square that value, sum those all together. So we just run that function. And so for instance, if we let's call that function 1 this d Gaussian function, we call it once, and we get a value 108.41. Do it again, we get some slightly different values, as we can see. Okay, well, instead of doing that over and over again, we'll use the replicate function, and if you haven't uh, used the, uh, looked at the um, tutorial, the screencast tutorial on the apply-like functions, I would suggest doing that now. Um, you can also easily do this using a for loop. Um, but we use the replicate function. Essentially what we're just going to ask is to do this same operation a thousand times. So we're going to call the function disdgaussian.fun, and we'll call that a thousand times, and we'll save those results, each number that we get, in something called s. We run it. It shouldn't take more than a second. Okay, so let's take a look at the plot of these. So we're going to plot s. And what we see is we get a distribution that looks sort of like that. Okay, well, so what is this saying? This is telling us the distribution of sum of squares, uh, uncorrected, but we could easily correct for, for sample size, um, uncorrected um, sum of squares um, if we repeat it a thousand times. Okay, well, how does that relate to the chi-square? What we'll do now is do the same basic operation. We're going to, from the chi-square distribution, generate a thousand um, values of chi-squared um, with a value of 100. So let's do that. And that's just this 100, I should point out, um, in case people can't see. This n is 1,000, it's how many we're generating, how many samples we're generating. This 100, essentially, you can consider the degrees of freedom, which is the same equivalent to our 100 right here. Those two numbers are equivalent. All right. So we're going to run that, and let's plot. And what you should see, at least I hope you see, is that these two distributions are, while certainly not identical, are pretty similar. They're, they're both uh, have a mean around 100, uh, with variation around each. And indeed, below the bottom one, we'll actually pl plot the theoretical chi-square distribution, again, for degrees of freedom equal to 100. And we'll plot it from 50 to 160. We'll add that on. And you can see that that fits pretty well and not surprisingly, pretty well on top of our uh, chi-square distribution or our simulations from a chi-square distribution, which is not surprising. So really, all that a chi-square distribution really is doing is simulating from this sort of sum. It's, it's, it's not simulating. It's, um, it's a distribution which tells you about what we might expect to see upon repeated sampling uh, for sum of squares. So it's really about a variance. So the chi-squared is about a variance. How much variance is there or how how much do things differ? So when we talk about expected versus observed, which is one use of it, we're really, again, thinking about the variances. Okay, it turns out that the F distribution is just the ratio of two chi-squared distributions. So what we're going to do now is generate a slightly different one. We've written another function to, to basically simulate um, uh, two chi-squared distributions where we're going to have generating values for the, the numerator and denominator. So we have our... Uh, x and y for our numerator, so would, just like we did above. So essentially this is going to generate the 100 or however many random numbers we want for the numerator and calculate that sum of squares. Um, sorry, that's the num uh, x, y. Yep, that's right. And then for the denominator, the same thing. We're going to do that same thing. We just have a and b here. So we'll do that, calculate it, and then we'll do simulations just like we did before. Run it for a second, and let's plot it. 
we get a distribution and get this right skewed looking distribution against these are simulated values. Let's do the same thing for two chi-squared distributions. Um, we'll just call those Q and R, given our two different degrees of freedom or sample sizes, 120, like above. And then we can compute the ratio, the F dot chi ratio, from those. And this is just a ratio of those values um, dividing out by the degrees of freedom. And we'll plot that below. And not surprisingly, these two look this pretty similar. So we're seeing that the ratio of those two variances um, here from the chi-squared, or we didn't even compute a chi-squared, we just computed the variances essentially, or sum of squares, looks an awful lot like the ratio of chi-squareds. That's no great surprise. Then let's actually plot the F distribution directly onto that. And indeed, it looks quite similar as well. So you can see that they all have sort of the same plotting, uh, proxing the same mean and, and uh, very similar densities. Won't be exact because these are simulations, but that just gives you an idea that an F ratio is really just um, a ratio of two variances uh, and that the chi-square distribution, which is you know the numerator and denominator for these distributions, really you can just think of them as either sum of squares or, or variances or however you want to think about them as, you know, unscaled. You can obviously scale them quite easily. All right, well, thanks very much and I hope this was informative.